super cool. What do FPGAs give you? They give you uh, extra fast processing that you can offload to them for things like digital signal processing and like video and camera processing. In fact, this was their uh, demo at Maker Faire, uh, Bay Area Maker Faire in May. Uh, we took some sweet video of them hooking up a uh, one of these little boards to a camera and then they displayed the output from the camera on a monitor, a huge TV, that it was just driving from the Arduino, which is just unbelievable. Uh, not only that, but you can perform processing on the video at the same time, and it's really fast because the deal with FPGAs is that it stands for Field Programmable Gate Array, which means that you can reprogram, uh, program and reprogram uh, pins and logic gates to perform different operations that uh, basically make it really fast because they can be run in parallel. Uh, everything doesn't have to go through a single CPU. Uh, they can, all the gates are basically hardwired, essentially. I mean, technically softwired, but <laughs> they're wired together in such a way that data just goes through um, and it's really easy. There are much better explanations for this out there. In fact, I gave a better explanation like a couple months ago uh, in our videos page. I did a whole series on FPGA week. Uh, what is an FPGA? And then like three different ones that we looked at, the tiny FPGA BX, the Arduino, and BeagleWire. We're also continuing this series by talking about the Ultra 96, and now so I'm really excited to introduce the VDOR as well. There's so much going on in this space. So if you're interested in maker stuff and you want to stay on top of things and you haven't looked at FPGAs yet, just go do it, like right now. So uh, our contributor, Alistair Allen, has written in a sweet blog post, actually when this first came out, a maker fair about the VDOR 4000. So what's it got on it? It's got not just uh, the FPGA, which is a um, an Intel Cyclone 10. It's also got a microchip uh, chip that does hardware security on it, which is fantastic since we're starting to see a higher uh, focus on security for cloud connected devices. It's beautiful, this is what IoT needs, and indeed this board also has a U-Blocks module that provides Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, all in one. So besides that there's also, oh yeah, the main microchip SAMD21 chip, which is what you'll sort of run the regular Arduino code on, and then the Cyclone chip is basically this little peripheral that can perform extra actions for you. The two of the chips, the Cyclone and the SAMD chip, can, uh, either one can control all of the pins on your Arduino, which makes it really flexible. So, you know, if you want a particular pin to do PWM, you can do that with the FPGA. You can basically change what type of pin any of them are using this chip. So you don't have to worry about like, oh, does this Arduino have, it only has eight PWM pins and I'm trying to control this many servos or whatever, or I'm trying to fade you know, 4,000 LEDs or something. You probably can't get 4,000 on here, but there is a 25 pin expansion port. What's it called? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I forget. It's like a mini PCI Express or something like that uh, port that enables you to plug it in and get 25 extra pins. Super cool! So, one really exciting thing about this that Alistair uncovered is that Arduino are planning to release a block programmer for the FPGA system, which is really exciting because previously you've had to work with Verilog or another tool chain that works with, uh, that helps you program the FPGAs and set up all the logic connections. Doing this with a block programmer seems uh, a little basic, but that's exactly what I'm looking for as someone who's pretty new to this stuff. I've tried doing it with Verilog and it's great, but I can't off the top of my head visualize what the process looks like. And if someone who is new or inexperienced or young wants to get into this stuff and they've never worked with FPGAs before, this is going to be a really friendly way to do it and I love it. Mm, what else is going on? Do, do, do. They're planning to distribute sketches and libraries with pre-compiled FPGA bitstream, which will be automatically uploaded on the FPGA with the microcontroller code at the same time. That's cool. It's like, you know, example sketches that come with your existing Arduinos. It's in the Maker format, which is a sort of long, skinny format that Arduino is making one of their new standards. So in addition to the standard Uno format, 
you know, there's a bajillion of these sort of Uno-shaped boards. And then there's, you know, Arduinos come in a couple other shapes as well, like official ones. <laughs> there's, of course, a ton of them um, in innumerable different forms, like different wearable ones. You've got um, DigiSpark and whatever. You've got tiny circuits. You've got the... Mm, Spark Fun's lily pads, which do Arduino as well, all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's an official Arduino mega form factor as well, but this is the sort of standard, right? So the maker form factor is the sort of new one that Arduino has been focusing on with their new boards. Like the, it started kind of with the Maker 1000 Wi-Fi board back in the day, which is almost old now. <laughs> That's incredible. So this goes for sixty dollars, and you can get it on the Arduino site. I would grab yours soon because they'll probably sell sell out soon. You can get a little bit more info plus a message from Massimo himself on the Arduino official site. And we can't wait to see what people start building with these. As usual, I'm gonna get one. We're gonna do a tutorial. It's gonna be fantastic. Uh, oh yeah, and just because I didn't want to do a video with no actual hardware in it. <laughs> I was at um, Hope, the Hackers on Planet Earth conference this past weekend and didn't manage to get any videos done while I was there, but I did pick up this sweet Mr. Robot badge, which is going to be coming to DEF CON, and it's created by Brian Benchoff, and uh, pretty well known, so I'm not going to start doing all the videos like this, but uh, it'll be fun to play with and I'll do a whole special video on that sometime soon. So lots of cool microcontroller stuff to talk about. This one runs on an ESP8266 and I think there's another controller on here too, but we'll go more in depth on that in the future. Huge LED array. Okay, okay, more later. Go get your Arduino right now. What are you doing still watching this? Go do it. <laughs> get into FPGAs. It'll be easy. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome rest of your MCU Tuesday because I missed Monday this week. <laughs>